Hello one, hello all, greeting to everyone. A um, few weeks ago, the president of Burkina Faso, the young leader, Captain Ibrahim Traore, promised to strengthen uh, Burkina Faso army. And uh, this week, handed over a new delivery of 12 effective uh, drone to the army. Uh, one thing that I was very happy with is uh, Captain Ibrahim said that when people see good leadership, uh, they will stand up and support it. Uh, no matter how hard Western propaganda uh, tries to say about the terrorism in Burkina Faso, our people see the result on the ground. No grant, no loan to acquire these equipment. It is the people of Burkina Faso who use their tax money to buy this equipment. You can see if the people uh, trust the leadership, they will provide uh, their support. And this is what always we talk about the continent of Africa. The people need uh, security. So we need security as the whole continent for us to participate fully in the development and economic activities. And this is what uh, the young leader of Burkina Faso is trying to do. So kings and queens, this is a great move for the people of Burkina Faso as well as the people of Africa. We need to have peace in our mother continent, Africa, for us to uh, move forward. Captain Ibrahim Traore is not resting in his uh, quest to make Burkina Faso and Africa great again through uh, social programs. He has released a total of 1.4 billion CFI for free health care uh, to pensioner and their family member as part of his effort to transform Burkina Faso. That's why every now and then you see this young leader in combat. You cannot wear a tie, necktie, beautiful clothes when your people are suffering. This is a difference between uh, these political leaders and these military leaders. So I, I, I'm happy to see because I see Burkina Faso is making Africa great. Um, you know, one thing that when Captain Ibrahim Traore came to power, all of us will remember he survived several coups and he continued to support the development in Burkina Faso. Now Burkina Faso is going to build one of the nuclear uh, power plant to produce enough electricity. Burkina Faso has succeeded to build good refinery that from then to uh, until now no gold uh, residuals has been exported out of the country out of the country of Burkina Faso. So gold is processed in Burkina Faso. We have seen industries integrated. We have seen textile industries. And one thing that I'm happy, I see the uniform. Burkina Faso came with the idea of uh, traditional wearing clothes for all official people and students in Burkina Faso. So it means the textile industry or factories that are going to be uh, operating in Burkina Faso will be uh, learning the most because the people of Burkina Faso have decided to use their own uh, internal uh, clothes, internal materials. So this is the thing that all of us we need to embrace. This young leader has a vision. So uh, this is good and we must support it. The great leaders like Thomas Isdold Sankala do not die. They replicate what I see in the current president of Burkina Faso, the young leader, Captain Ibrahim Traore, had to waken up the spirit of Thomas Sankara in his nation. He, he is fighting tirelessly to bring development in the country of Burkina Faso. We have seen Captain Ibrahim Traore in farms. We have seen Captain Ibrahim Traore in industries. We have seen Captain Ibrahim Traore everywhere this is the spirit of the great men like thomas isdor sankala 
So the popularity of the president of Burkina Faso, Captain Ibrahim Traore, is constantly increasing, uh, particularly among African youth who consider him an example of patriotic and pan-Afghanist leadership in matter of governance. So that's why we are talking about uh, continental things. We need to have a meeting that will every leader, every African uh, who are in position should state how are we going to do things for the continent of Africa. How are we going to make sure that we have security in the continent of Africa? You know what is going on uh, when terrorists are chased out of Burkina Faso, they land into another country. Then the country, they, 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 they mobilize again, then they come back. But if we are so united, where are they learning? They will be also chased away. At the end of the day, they will be taken out of this continent. And of course, we don't need this war. We need reconciliation. How we can come together? Those who have different views, what can we do? How they want to be accommodated? That's what we are talking about. So we cannot continue to fight, to fight, to fight. Those who are fighting, what are you fighting for? What do you want? Let us sit on the table and say, uh, we want this and this. And let us, the government or the uh, other side say, okay, you want this. Let us do this and this. So all of us, we know that this disability, this conflict is the source of income to other nations who are supplying weapons and uh, supplying uh, other issues. Of course, all of us, we are aware that uh, at conflict, we cannot go to farm. We cannot feed ourselves. So we'll be fed by others. People will make money. In uh, conflict, we cannot develop our countries automatically will become poor in conflict we will distract our infrastructures automatically after this conflict handed over we have a great duty to build our infrastructures and yet we are not prepared engineers professionals to build our infrastructures automatically will hire others so they will make money so this is how things is going on. So we must make sure that we have peace in the continent of Africa. All of us, we must know the importance of peace because peace is the foundation of everything. Without peace, we are going nowhere. Let us have in a peace, unity and love. These three things are very, very important for us. So Captain Ibrahim Traore is a good lecture for us, the young people that things can happen if we have political will, we have decisions. So it doesn't matter how your head is the way Captain Ibrahim Tower is doing. He's not uh, an elder, he's a young people. So he's within our ages, but see what he's doing. Wonderful, wonderful. So kings and queen, I'm trying to share what is happening in Burkina Faso. It is fantastic. All of us, we must embrace it. We must support it. And that's why we talk about this should be also continental. We need continental uh, structure that will make sure that all of us, the young people, the people of Africa, will participate in the development of this continent. We need uh, the people of Africa, young leaders, to convene a meeting about this, the future of this continent, 50 years to come. Yes, we have this Agenda 2063. How are we going to implement it? We need to hear from our readers. How have, what have we done? We need to come together. That's why we are talking about unity of this continent. My brothers and sisters, Burkina Faso has taught us how we can do things ourselves within one year and a half, you see what the young leader of Burkina Faso is doing. Very, very wonderful. So we can move together. We can move as the people of Africa. So kings and queens, let me say thank you for your time. Let us come together. Let us preach love, peace, and unity for our mother continent, Africa. Everyone must participate in making sure that we have love, we have unity, and
we have peace so everyone should make sure that you contribute positively about our love in the continent peace in the continent and the unity in this continent thank you